Tahrim says, I just wanted to ask what is the concept of six kalimas in Islam? And if there are no kalimas, what are those duas then for? Because people in Pakistan or India believe that a Muslim should know all kalimas, otherwise they are not proper Muslims. Please enlighten me in this regard so we can guide others too. First of all, we learn our religion from the Quran through following the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, who came and explained to us the Quran, elaborated upon it, and clarified what we cannot understand due to its generalization. Now, if you look in the Quran or in the Sunnah, you will not find any trace for limiting six kalima. What is kalima? Kalima in Arabic means word. And not only limited to word, it can be a phrase and it can be a sentence. So in Arabic, the word kalima can also refer to the two shahada, the testimonies, that one embraces Islam by uttering and believing in them. Though they are composed of a number of words, but any statement, any sentence, any phrase can also be referred to as kalima. And a particular single word in Arabic is also kalima. So there isn't anything in the Quran or Sunnah that refers to the six kalimas, meaning not five and not seven. There are tens of authentic kalimas, but nowhere in the Quran or Sunnah we, where, where we will find that the Prophet or his companions told us, memorize these and you will not be a proper Muslim if you do not memorize them or know their meaning. The Muslims in the subcontinent teach their children from an early age that the importance of these six kalimas. Part of these kalimas are part of the dhikr. So it is a fragment of a different uh, uh, varieties of dhikr, of words and statements of remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. These six kalimas, according to uh, uh, the most famous and widely spread, Al-Kalima Al-Tayyibah, Al-Shahada, Al-Tamjid, Al-Tawheed, Al-Istighfar, and Raddu Al-Kufr. Now, if you go to these six kalimas and you analyze them, some of them are in the Sunnah. For example, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. This is the Shahada. This is the first one. This is known at, as Al-Kalima Al-Tayyibah. But when you go to number two, it says the testimony, where it says, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah. Okay, it's the same thing as the first one. And that Muhammad is his messenger, messenger and servant, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The third one is glorification, at tamjid When you say, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu akbar, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. All of this is well known, established dhikr, the best words ever to be said. The third, uh, the fourth one is tawheed. And it is the statement, La ilaha illallah wahda la sharika lahum mulku wa alhamdu yuhmid wa biyadi al-khayr wa al kulli shayin qadir. This is the same as the first and the second. The, four, the fifth one is istighfar. And this istighfar is something that is not found in the sunnah. Something that somebody made it up. And we know from the sunnah, the authentic sunnah, that the best seeking way of seeking forgiveness is Sayyidul Istighfar, the master of istighfar. And it's not here. So again, who should we follow, sunnah or these compiled words that someone had uh, uh, did, did that. And Radd al-Kufr also, it is totally not part of the sunnah. It's something that someone fabricated. Therefore, I say, these words are good, but they're not from the sunnah. Why teach people something where we can find something that is better? And why limit it to six? Why not five? Why not three? Why not one? Why not ten? So 
I believe that maintaining and focusing and putting emphasis on such six words would amount to uh, an innovation and Allah knows best.